Hi, welcome back to A Stone's Throw, my podcast. I'm Grace King, and one second, forgot to take that out. Um, and I am here to tell you all about um, what Bucks County means to me. I mean, tomorrow is the last day of high school for us. I've lived in Bucks County since I was born, since I was zero years old, and now I'm 18, and I'm leaving Bucks County within the next three months. Um, so everything's coming very fast. So I just kind of wanted to reflect on how important the place is to me and like how I've come to terms with that from like being like an angsty like middle schooler till now. Um, when I was little, we would like always spend time outside. Um, I think the majority of the maternal side of my family lives in Bucks County. So it was easy to get to know people from the county, I mean the county obviously. Uh, two of my cousins went to CB West, a couple of them went to East, and, like, they're, uh, it's just very Bucks County, um, family. Um, so, I met a lot of their friends, and we, we always went to Knock and Mixon, went to Peace Valley a lot, to Tyler a lot, like we talked about earlier, um, We've also just gone to restaurants all the time. We're a huge family. So, like, we would go, like, in little groups. But it was still fun. Doylestown's probably, like, our number one, like, spot when we were, like, in elementary school. Because it was, like, it seemed like such a big, like, big city feel to us. Um, Because there was pizzerias. There was a movie theater. You could walk around with your friends while still staying safe. So, like, your parents were okay with it. Um, which felt very, very grown up. Um, I, so yeah, I remember going on on a lot of like cousin, like little, like summer day trip dates. And we would like, we would walk around Doylestown, go to the bookshop, obviously. Um, we would go to the Michener. I remember going like to a few birthday parties at the Michener where we would just walk around, um, go to whatever exhibit they were showing, which is so like quaint and so like lovely. Like, not a lot of towns, like, small towns like ours, or small communities like ours, can say that they have such a cool place, such as the Michener. Um, we also would, like, walk around the courthouse for some reason. I have a lot of memories from the courthouse, um, because I was in mock trial the past few years. Um, they weren't really good memories, but it was a way to get connected with my community. I know a lot more about the justice system um in bucks now uh just they weren't good memories because i didn't like mock trial and i'm not it's not my calling um but it i mean it was nice to work with everyone um <laughs> sounds so big i did overall i did enjoy it but it was just pure stress um anyways uh there was also a walk i went to a few months ago which i oh i wrote an article about it uh for or I helped, I interviewed for an article about it for this class. Um, but that was at the the courthouse in Doylestown. Um, there's a lot of, like, just uh, social events that happen in Doylestown. So there's a lot to do always. Um, what else? We would go to Jules a lot. Jules is, like, a number one. There's a Memorial Day parade, I think in Doyle's summer or two we go to. Also the one in Perksy, obviously. I'm wearing shorts, I promise. Um, and yeah, Doyle's sounds just a great, a great little like starter city, I guess. It's not a city at all, but you know what I mean? Um, it's, it's like a walkable little town and it's very cute. Um, a lot of really good, like underrated restaurants are there too. Um, what else? We would, spend a lot of time like just walking like, just going on walks like my family is big on walks like ever since we were little um when we were especially really little my mom would like take my little brother in a stroller and she would take me and we would especially in like december during christmas time we would go around and like watch the lights like all around like our obviously our neighborhood but she would also take us to other neighborhoods in the area and like just like take us through the um 
of the the Christmas lights and stuff, which is a really good memory. And I actually just passed that on, I th I hope, <laughs> to the kids I babysit. So like every December, I'll like take them out uh, in their strollers and like we'll walk around and look at the Christmas lights. It's really cute. Um, and we also, so we, yeah, we have a lot of Christmas traditions, Christmas traditions like that. I know there's a few families that like do like light shows. Um, there's one in the neighborhood right next to mine. They have like a radio station and they'll connect their lights to the music they're playing on the radio to make it like sound like cohesive and like a huge like light show, which is really cool. Um, so yeah, we have a lot of holiday traditions like that. Um, but we also like to, there's just so much you can do. Like it just, uh, I mean, I guess that's the perks of suburbia, but like you can like go anywhere and have a good time. You can play football, you can uh, play soccer, you can play any kind of sport, obviously. Um, you can go on a walk, you can just hang out with people and you don't need like a license or a permit for the day to like take that space or anything. It just, there's a lot of public places, which is really nice. Um, we would go on a lot of walks when we were little. I remember like once we were like just old enough that like, our parents could, like, trust us, like, near big roads. My dad would take us down Diamond Street, and we would go into Sellersville, which is not, there's not much there, honestly, but sometimes, though, the one great thing about Bucks County is they know how to do a service, or, like, a fair, or, like, a, com like a community day, because we, uh, Penridge Gallery of the Arts, so fire so much good stuff expensive but that's what art should be um i guess and yeah it's just like very very cool stuff but my dad would like take us on a walk down to there and we would get to like see all the tents and very nice there's i for work i go to like this year we're going this winter or summer 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 oh my god this summer we're going to five different markets in bucks county <laughs> There's a lot of farmer's markets. Um, we're never lacking in farmer's markets. We are sometimes lacking in farmers, but we're close to being in Pennsylvania, so almost there. Um, but, yeah, we have a lot of, like, thriving and or upcoming businesses in the area, which is cool. Um, oh, wow, cow. I feel like, I feel like I, like... I was there for the, like, very beginning of Owaco. I have a picture of me, I think, right up there, actually, with, like, it's, oh, my God, I just, I see it. The cone is, like, the size of my head, the ice cream cone. It's at the, um, Osville Owaco, and my parents, like, they claim to be, like, the first, like, discoverers of it, and now everyone's, like, obsessed with it, obviously, but, like, we, we were there from the beginning when they were just, like, a cooler and a shelf, like, so... Don't at us. Um, yeah, a lot of good restaurants like that. Some of my favorite, obviously, are Wow Cow. Um, oh, my God. Oh, I forget what it's called. Lavender. No. Blue Sage. Blue Sage. So good. So, so good. Um, yeah, I don't have a lot of favorite restaurants in the area because I don't eat meat, so a lot of it isn't really applicable for me here which is fine and i get it um and i'm i guess it just means i'm picky but i i have a plethora of like farmers and grocery stores to go to i guess so i'm good in the veggie department um but yeah there's a lot of so many things to do always 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 um i like growing up i just I feel like I was very lucky to be born here. Um, I know everyone kind of says that, especially when they're, like, about to leave. But, um, like, looking at all of the opportunities that were given to us, like, compared to some of the other kids that I'm going to college with, like, we were just given so many opportunities to, like, learn and grow in our, like, natural environment, which is really lucky because um, not everyone has that opportunity. And I think we just have a really loving cohesive community like all of our like fairs that i was talking about we have what do we have we have fall fest 
We go to Penner's Gallery of the Arts, Penner's Community Day, which is so fun. Um, we do, uh, like, the tree lighting, which is a huge deal. Um, and, like, Doyle's Town, we have a lot of, a lot of stuff. I'm not really, like, hip to a lot of it, but I know the CB kids are, and they always talk about it. Same thing with Quaker Town. There's always stuff going on there. Um, a lot of music. We're a huge. One thing I was so proud of when I was little about Bucks County is how much of a music area we are. Because I remember, I remember learning that the singer Pink is from Bucks County because she lives. In, she lived in the same neighborhood as my cousins. And I thought they were, like, next-door neighbors. I was really confused about it. But she just lived in that neighborhood before. Before they even lived there. But, um, she's... So she's from Bucks County. Some guy that I don't remember. I think he's, like, a band... Like, a rock guy. My parents are obsessed with him, but I don't know who he is. Um, and Sabrina Carpenter from Disney Channel. When I found out she was from Bucks County, I actually flipped. I think she said it on, like, some ad. Like, one of those, like... I'm from Disney Channel. I I think she said I'm for, also from Bucks County or something like that. Um, because it was like a where are you from week or something. I don't know. And I lost it. And then all my friends lost it. And then they all went to our meet and greet. And we were like, <sighs> excuse me. And we were like, oh, Justin Garini, Justin Garini, the guy from the ads and from the voice or the X Factor. I don't know, but he's a really good singer, and I sang with him in a choir once, because he went to CB East. I think he went to East, and my friend goes to East, and he was in our middle school, like, BCMEA choir, because he came back and he's friends with the director, because he went to that school. So, we got to, like, sing with him. That was cool, and he's, like, actually famous, like... I think he was on Broadway, too. Very, very, very cool community. And we have Josh Gunning to thank for that. So we got a lot of up-and-coming <laughs> artists coming from Bucks County. Go Bucks. Well, don't say that because that means West. We're not West supporters over here. But go Bucks County. All right. Thank you. This has been very fun. I love reminiscing. And I hope to see you soon. Bye.